Yo, 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 yo! We're back with part 10 of the quarry, guys. I think this might be the finale. If not, it's the second to last episode for sure, because we are nearing the end. We're going semi-strong. I really do apologize for the last episode, but without further ado, let's get into this. You know what? I'm literally thinking, if you guys have seen part 9, which I'm hoping you have, that if you go and see what Abigail and um, Emma are doing. I wonder if you get them killed. I'm pretty sure it would be the safer route because they're in like a bunker. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman, the old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my God! She was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who you're talking about? I saw her too, in the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. I th think. Annoyed, probing. Annoyed, you think? Probing. Who was she? I'm gonna ask who she was. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's real. The prophecy is real. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? <laughs> Come on, dude. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. So sad. Reflective mean. That's why you've been hunting him. We could just kill Caleb. Well, I don't think killing Caleb would do anything. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Dude, Laura looks <laughs> kind of scary low-key in that dress. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Fingers crossed no one else dies. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. I kind of ship Laura and Ryan. Is that bad? Ryan? <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. Oh, it's so creepy. It's literally so creepy. What is it? Silas the dog boy. A 
ain't no way if he was one be. of those werewolves that she mistook him for a dog boy sure. because those things aren't even furry. Uh, no. Oh, good gracious. I'm scared. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh. oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh God, he's creepy. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Yeah, Laura, what are you Shoot doing? Shoot your stupid girl! Yeah. Why? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I shoot? I'm confused. Are you sure about this? Shoot. I know we're kind of like it's like Eliza versus Hackett. Fuck. I'm sorry, but you gotta go. I don't honestly like. She didn't give me enough reasons to side with them. I know she was helping me with the tarot cards the whole time, but I don't know. It wasn't something that I think I would have sided with. Please, let's just, unless she really, really, let's really gave us a reason. Before we, we have to see him like that in human form. Oh God. What does it look like? Well, guess see. Well, shiz beans. That was intense, but at least it wasn't like a boss fight. Oh, oh god, she's gonna be pissed at us. Ah. Are we gonna have to fight her now? I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Okay, girl. Now I will never leave you. <laughs> I'll never leave you. Uh, ooh. Sorry. I mean, sorry. I'm really curious what you guys picked. Or what... You know what? Don't they break down the percentage of what people choose at the end? I really want to see that if they did. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. I just so wish I saved Caitlyn and Dylan. Like, Max, that decision kind of bothered me. Because it was like, oh, you keep him on the island. Are you going to keep playing him, playing as him on the island? That's what I was thinking. I think a lot of the decisions aren't specified very well. Because it was like, well, in my eyes, I thought it was... Oh, okay, hold on. I'll review afterwards. All right, Bobby. Jedediah. I'm glad they made it. They're good people. Chris, I don't know if we could have what that would have resulted as. Constance, that kills me. That is so sad. I'm gonna have to blur that again. I apologize. Maybe can't you feel that <gasps> love is oh, so Wait, that was Nick? Come follow me into a place oh sh wait, how did I not know that was Nick? Good job, Jacob. Max. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Abby. Sweet girl. Emma was a baddie. Oh, that kills me. I really, I really, really, really want to replay this. Dylan, oh god. 
Travis. Ryan. Oh, that bothers me so much now. Hey, Laura. I can't imagine getting Laura killed. What would the game even be? Oh, that's really disturbing. Gosh, now I'm thinking, like, when did I mistake Nick? I feel really dumb right now, but I'm like, my recollection of this game, I've played it over such a prolonged period, I don't even remember when I shot Nick. I know. Dang, like, wait, what? Well, 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 you guys, we have just completed the Cory playthrough. We made it to part 10. Um, I'm so happy to play this for you guys. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you guys so much for all your comments and your support throughout this whole thing. I really would love to play this game again, whether that be making sure everyone survives, Chris, Nick, Caitlin, Dylan, all of them, getting everyone to survive, um, or Devil's Advocate playing all of the opposite responses, choosing all the opposite responses, opposite actions, and seeing what kind of turmoil we get into or how good the game might go. Um, I think that would be a very fun experience because this game isn't all that long. Um, I think it took me about a week and a half to record all of this, uh, get all the videos up daily. So if you're interested, please let me know, guys. Um, at the end of this, I will be putting the end credits with the um, podcast, the podcast that Ryan was listening to. They talk in the credits, so I will definitely put that towards the end if you want to listen to it. Um, as far as decision making, this is one thing I wanted to bring up was the fact that sometimes I didn't know who I was making the decision as. This character would choose this, or I know this character would choose this, or I wanted this specific person to do this action type thing. And there were a couple times I was like, eh. Another thing I wanted to mention was sometimes when you would pick a choice, the character would just ultimately do the opposite in the end. For example, I think there was a time um, two characters I told, or one or two characters I told to run instead of hide. And they literally ran to a hiding spot. This girl, I mean, I, I get it. Um, but there, yeah, I would say that a uh, recurring theme was just not knowing who was making the decision. Maybe I'm just a dummy. And two, like sometimes the decisions didn't feel like they mattered, I guess. Um, and who knows, maybe in the beginning, because I didn't get anyone killed in the beginning, really. Maybe I was just doing it right? Unknowingly? I mean, I wanted everyone to get along. You know? So, who was your favorite character? I'd love to know. I think my favorite characters, two favorites, Abigail. Loved Abigail. She was so sweet. Dylan really grew on me. I like Caitlyn from the get-go. Emma, I love Holson Sage, but her character was like... Rrr. She was a super bad uh her and caitlin i was looking forward to seeing more of them together that didn't actually happen i don't think um nick oh bro that killed me when he started saying all those mean things to abby that killed me so sad uh jacob really like jacob's character super likable he's like the alpha chad you always need one Ryan loved Ryan. Oh, Ryan was such a cutie. Oh my god. I really hope that him and Laura can like work through the trauma and at least be best friends at the minimum. Um, yeah, and then the Hackett family. I just like, I really did like them. I felt bad like Bobby, Jedediah. I really wanted them to survive. I wanted Constance to survive. I'm not exactly sure how that specific part would have played out with the shotgun. So. What do you guys think? Lara, the baddest. Lara was the baddest. Her eye patch, iconic. That's the specific cosplay I would love to do at some point. But yeah, I think that's all I have. Like I said, at the end of this, I will definitely put the podcast because it rolls with the end credits. I personally didn't realize how many people died, and that makes me so sad. But you know what? There's always next time. So guys, let me know if you want me to play it again. Like I said, play the opposite. 
We're just trying to mend the bad things that happened. I just went to the home screen, guys, and it says that you've unlocked the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three lives wisely. I think we're gonna use this, guys. I think we're gonna go back. This is, this might not be the finale. We might be going back. All right, guys, it's been such a pleasure. I will let the podcast start rolling before I do. Here's my outro. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or concerns, please feel free to let me know below or message me. If you like this video, if you like this playthrough, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell icon to be notified when I post my next playthrough or my next video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Freak bear. You would know. Leaves several. Ah. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like the detectives are just—they—they they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two. They're like one, uh. two, three. Yeah, you know what? It's several, several murders. You know, it might be a tactic though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, "Hi, I'm a paranormal expert." True. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just <laughs> ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. <gasps> it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments. Ooh. And I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very <gasps> pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell. Vibe the Ryan? Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is... Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats. You got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts <laughs> are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. 
Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're gonna do that. Okay, then Who let's take this over. What is that supposed to be? What Anton, is that? Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine. Yes, you. It's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, I, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but... course you can. What, do I have like a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Shit. Okay. Well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay. I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. <sighs> I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. <laughs> Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Jacob. quarry. Jacob, Jacob so found the memory maybe card. They were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? <laughs> oh, please. Okay. So you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm, yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. <laughs> well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide.
the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light reading. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of... This, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's a strange. My god, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay. This is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool. A camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest. If it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears. It's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. Don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just 
say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors, Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my god, is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. <laughs> it looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, yet bonafide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her. The hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle! I mean, that could be anything, dude. It, it barely even looks like a person. Oh, what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? So you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body, evidence they were there. This is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the Hackett's. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. We got a whole flapjack stack of evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No! <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going here. It's getting juicy. Yes, we have something real. We have actual people have actually died. This is actually crazy. Grace, you did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more. Ass.